and welcome to Game of Drones, the new show where we design, build, and fight unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, or as most people like to call them, drones. There's no denying the popularity of hobby drones. Here on Game of Drones, we plan on designing, building, and fighting just about every kind we can come up with. We'll use fire, rockets, explosives, paintball, or just brute strength, and we'll show you just how much fun aerial combat can be for the whole family. First up is the Sparrowhawk, the world's smallest and cutest killer drone. I was curious about these super cheap, super tiny quadcopters flooding the market. To my amazement, they fly great and can really take punishment, making them the ideal airframe to learn how to fly. Soon, I was testing the cargo capacity of these flyweight toys, so I added a key chain spy camera to record my flights. Again, I was amazed to see the quad lift and fly with ease. I knew I needed to press further, so I considered ways to weaponize the quad. I decided to make it shoot rockets, and after I made this tiny little prototype, I was delighted to find out that Estes actually made essentially the same rocket already in kit form. The final piece is the rocket firing mechanism. I decided to use the transmitter and receiver from this small helicopter toy. This final piece only has one function, flip this switch and fire the rocket. This tiny quad now is trying to lift way more weight than was intended, so any excess material has to be removed, and every little bit helps. My favorite hack is actually using a single battery to power all three devices, the quad, the spy camera, as well as the launcher, since they all share the same power requirements, 3.7 volts. It flies, but not without a struggle. It's very sluggish and can only stay airborne for about one or two minutes before the battery is spent. Good thing I've got backups. Yeah. Now for the moment of truth, actually firing the rocket while flying the drone. Right. And fire. I have no idea where it was. But hey, the, the drug's still in the other, look at that. Well, that was just amazing. I think there may be a few kinks that still need to be worked out, but as a proof of concept, we may have just flown the world's smallest and cutest killer predator drone, the Sparrowhawk. Well, thanks for watching, and take a moment to subscribe. From all of us here at Game of Drones, I'm your host and pilot, Mark Kornblatt. Rotors up.